Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I want to talk about something that Luminar users should be aware of. Specifically, Luminar users who recently purchased a new camera. You may know that in Lightroom, that if you buy a new camera, something that was just released on the market, that Lightroom sometimes, or Adobe sometimes, takes a month or so for them to update Lightroom so that it will support the RAW files from that newer model. Until then, it won't even open up the RAW files for that camera. Well, Luminar is a little different. Even though it doesn't have support for the new camera, it will open up the RAW files, but it limits you without you even knowing it. Let me try to explain by demonstrating. This image here is from a Fujifilm X-T3, which has been out for some time. So I have it in Luminar 4, and if I go to Light, you'll notice at White Balance, if I go to the drop-down, that I have all these choices, right? Then if I go down to Advanced Settings, the Profile, I have a full set of profiles as well. Now the next image I'm going to show you was shot with a Fujifilm X-T4. Four. Now, first of all, you'll notice that it's taking longer time to load. You can see how everything is grayed out on the right-hand panel. That's kind of your clue that something isn't quite right. So it's taking a longer time to load, and whenever it does load, what you'll find is that you won't have any profiles here. See, they disappeared. It loaded now. The profiles aren't showing, and if we go up to white balance and I click on the little drop down, all you have is as shot. So it's treating it as though it was a JPEG because that's what it is. What it's doing is it's taking the embedded JPEG that is inside of the raw file and it's creating a preview with it, and you're actually just editing that. So it's limiting you quite a bit. You won't have the same dynamic range that you have with a RAW file. You won't have the same amount of colors that you will have with a RAW file. And, I mean, they don't warn you. They're not telling you that this is an unsupported RAW file and you're editing, editing a limited version of it or a created version of it or a JPEG of it or whatever you want to word it. So I want you to be aware of that. If you buy a camera that is new to the market, your RAW file probably is going to load fine in Luminar. It might be a little slow, like it was on this one, but it is going to be limited. You're not going to have all the uh, benefits of the RAW file. Now, I'm sure uh, Skylum Software will be updating uh, Luminar very soon with new camera support, and when it does, this RAW file will be read properly and it will act just like the X-T3 RAW file in that I'll have the full range of white balance options, I'll have all the profiles, it will have all the dynamic range and colors of the raw, that the RAW file should have basically. So that's it, just a quick video, I wanted to warn you guys about this. Thank you everyone who watches my videos, I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.